Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Cody, the Astro Adventurer, and today I have a really special one for you. I'm doing a review and my thoughts on the SV Boney filter drawer, the SV226 filter drawer that they now make. And so I've had a chance to uh, kind of review it a little bit, take it a look at it, use it on my telescope for a couple nights. So I wanted to make this video and tell you my thoughts on it. Uh, SV Boney was nice enough to send me one of these to test. and. So initially I was using the uh, ZWO filter drawer you see right here. And I've been using this uh, pretty much the, uh, the whole time I've been doing astrophotography. So about a year and a half actually, it's only, um, only been about a year and a half and it's been good. Uh, I haven't had too many issues with this or anything. I've used it, you know, on many, many occasions, probably on average, maybe a couple times a week. And it's done well. Um, but you know, I have to say one thing just right off the bat, I was blown away by the uh, quality of the filter drawer from SV Boney. And it's this one in my hand right now. So you see it says SV Boney filter drawer right there. And so just to give you a little more context, the filter drawer is something in case you don't know, you use to put uh, your different filters you have in there. I usually use um, a, I use a one shot color camera, as you see here, this is the ASI uh, 2600 MC Pro. And so I use dual narrowband filters and dual narrowband filters help uh, isolate the um, hydrogen and oxygen lines in there and really make the uh, nebula stand out more against the sky, especially when you're in more of like a light polluted area. So that's what I'm usually using this for. Um, right now I have the uh, uh, Antelia uh, filter in here, dual narrowband filter, five nanometer. I'm also using a SV Boney one as well. They just sent me one of those. Theirs is very good and you can check out my review on Facebook on that. Um, but this is the SV Boney one and the reason why I say it really surprised me, it really feel, uh, blew me away is it, it's a lot heavier duty feeling than the ZWO one, and I love ZWO, I'm doing me wrong, I buy all their stuff. My mounts is ZWO AM5, um, obviously the camera I was just telling you about here, ZWO, but the uh, filter drawer from SP Pony is, it just feels more substantial, it's a little heavier. Um, the magnet I noticed is stronger on it, it's easier to close, and, and I just have an easier time, sometimes with the uh, uh, this one from uh, ZWO, it's a little bit, harder to get closed and the magnet's not quite as strong. Now you can adjust the screw here and that's fine. Um, and SV Boney has a screw you can adjust on there too, but uh, it's just, it's not as, it's not even as big. It doesn't feel quite as heavy duty and the, the, the magnet isn't as strong. So um, all of those things are a plus on the SV Boney, stronger magnet and a little bit heavier duty. Another thing is it came with two uh, doors here. It came with two of them. So the SV, uh, SZWO one only came with one. You kind of see the difference between the doors here. Uh, they're a little bit bigger on the SV Boney one. They've got a little grip in here as well. So it's a little bit easier, um, a little bit more textured um, to pull in and out. And it's just, again, it's bigger. It's got bigger magnets on it too. Uh, it's just heavier duty in general. Um, so I am going to talk a little bit about more, more about this one. It, it, it does come... Uh, with two of the doors, like I said, it comes with an adapter so you can hold smaller um, filters as well, uh, different adapters there. And it is substantially less expensive. So overall, like again, pluses in all the categories, it was, I think, uh, around $60 for the two, uh, two inch filters. I use two inch filter one. And uh, the ZWO, I think is around uh, closer to $80. So it's, it's cheaper. It's, more substantial, feels like it's built better, has a stronger magnet, um, all good things, right? So you can just screw the, it works like any filter drawer, you just screw the filters in on and off right here as I'm doing. Um, very easy to use, uh, very easy to change in and out the filters. Um, but overall, yeah, like I said, I'm very impressed. I, I've now used it for two different nights of imaging. I used it on uh, the Dolphin Head Nebula um, I actually used it on uh, the Horsehead Nebula, Nebula as well, and I just left it in there for when I was imaging the Witch Head Nebula too. Um, I didn't need a filter for that. If you are um, going to take a picture of the Witch Head Nebula, you do not need a filter, but it is better to be a, like a darker sky because it is a, a pretty dim nebula. But And it, it held great. N not one time did the door fall out here or anything like that. It is, it is very secure. Very, very secure. I've never had it fall out of the ZWO one either, but I was always a little, a little uh, worried about it, so I always tighten the screw there. 
didn't really have to worry about that with the ZWO one. It, it felt very secure the whole time that it was in there. Um, the screw is down here if you want to tighten it um, and really lock it in there, but I didn't feel a need to, and I imaged for two eight and a half hour nights and didn't have a single issue with um, the filter falling out or anything like that. And I, it also seals up really, really well, so there's no light leakage or anything in there. That's something you gotta really pay attention to and worry about with a filter drawer, because if they don't seal up well, you could have uh, light leaking in there and kind of uh, not everything passing straight through your filter, all that stuff. So you wanna make sure that that seals up well. And yeah, like I said, no no issues there at all. Uh, it you know screws on and off super easily right here with the, the standard uh, M42 adapter with um, uh, that I use um, for my ZWO camera. So no problem there. Uh, just overall, super, super impressed. Uh, if you are looking for a filter drawer, I highly, highly recommend getting this one. I wish I would have known about it before I got my ZWO one. And no knock on ZWO or anything, but SV Bunny is just continually making really high quality products for uh, a very, very uh, good price. Uh, I still use their telescope, right? The SV50 380 millimeter, and it's hard to beat for the price. Um, any of their products that I've used so far in their filter is really good too. So if you get a chance, if you want to buy one of these, I would highly recommend it. Um, and again, I appreciate SV Boning sending me one to test, but this is going to be my go-to filter drawer from, from now on. Um, it's, it's replaced my ZWO one. So I mean, that's, that's crazy to say. So anyway, I appreciate you joining and I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick review of the SV226 uh, filter drawer from SV Boney and pick yourself up one, they're, they're a great value. Thanks a lot and clear skies. Take care. Mm -hmm.